Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Token Shuriken Oversized Pulley for the Shimano 105 Derailer. So if you're a fan of cycling, you know that pro cyclists always have the latest and greatest equipment, from the newest aerodynamic bikes to the latest accessories. Now you've probably noticed, in more recent years, oversized rear derailleur pulleys like this have become a lot more popular. So today we're going to be looking at Token's variation. This is for the Shimano 105. They also have it for Ultegra and Durace. But what's interesting here is you don't typically see them for the 105. It's usually reserved for higher end products. So it's really nice to see. In terms of packaging, really simple. You have the Token white on black. Nice large window where you can actually see the big derailleur on here. Simple ghosted on letters on the side. And then simple on the black on the back as well. To open it up, while I open it up, we'll go over the specs. Retail on this is $159, so quite a bit more affordable than some other options on the market. And the big thing with this is you get 19 teeth on the lower pulley and 12 on the top. That's compared to the typical 11 that you will see. This uses an anodized CNC construction. Supports up to a 34 tooth cassette on the rear. And it uses a upper TBT bearing, which is a ceramic ball with titanium coated races, while the lower is a premium bearing, which is a carbon steel. Inside the packaging, you have a really nice foam piece that holds it in place, uh, some basic instructions to install it. And you can see here the Ultegra version, Endurance version is a little bit uh, more fancy with the carbon cage and uh, gold accents. Now let's take a look at the weight of the oversized pulley. Now what's interesting is despite being larger, these are actually lighter than the stock components. So this comes in at 64 grams. Now let's go over the fit and finish of the oversized pulley. Now if shuriken sounds familiar, it's actually a Japanese word that translates to hidden hand blade. And it's better known as throwing stars or ninja stars. The design of this is very reminiscent of a ninja star as this is such a large rear uh, bottom pulley. Now, even though this is not as fancy as the Ultegra or Durace uh, version, which have a carbon fiber cage and gold accents, the CNC aluminum here and the finish feels really premium and it really quite large. So it'll definitely stand out on your bike. Now there's a couple of interesting features here. You have the higher quality bearings here on the upper and lower that provide a lot better, uh, reduce the uh, drivetrain losses. Now there's a lot of hype around these oversized pulleys, so once we get on the bike we'll see how much it really matters. But they definitely promise quieter shifting, smoother shifting, and reduce some of the drivetrain loss. The overall finish on this feels really well made. It's almost a semi-gloss finish, with all the pieces feeling very durable and well labeled. So now the first step is to uninstall the original bottom pulley. So there's a simple bolt under here. I want to carefully take that out. Then you should be able to rotate this out. There's a little retainer spring here, which will simply slide out. And there you go, there's the original one. Now installing the token pulley is actually pretty straightforward. You don't need to be a professional mechanic as it's simply one bolt. Now you want to carry over some of the parts from your stock one. So I have the retainer spring and the little plastic dust cover. You also want to use a little bit of grease when you're putting this together uh, on the spring and along this shaft. Now there's also three mounting points for that spring and that adjusts the chain tension. I'm going to go ahead and put in the middle but you can choose the one you prefer. So we'll put a little bit of dab of grease on the shaft and then slide it over and that should be about it. And then you want to align this with the derailleur. So there's a little bit slot here. Once you have it aligned, and that's about it. Then you put the bolt on. And that's it, you're done. Now let's do a little comparison between the stock Shimano 105 uh, pulley and the token variation. You can see just how much larger this is with the 19 teeth compared to the stock version, which is probably closer to 11. It really looks almost uh, comical. Also with the aluminum finish and the semi-gloss design, 
it looks a lot more premium than the stock variation. You can see the mounting points are almost identical though if you were to lay them side by side. The actual pulley mounts and the overall design is quite similar. What Token has done is they've actually hollowed out a lot of the pulley itself, reducing the rotational weight. And that makes, uh, makes it a lot more efficient than the stock ones, which you can see are more solid, with the top one being actually completely solid while the bottom only has small little uh, windows in it. So this is actually easier to clean as well. And you can see the teeth design are quite a bit different. The Shimano one has a more of a standard uh, cut to it, while the Token has their little Conti wave design, which is slightly beveled on the edges. Now weight-wise, these are almost identical. The Shimano one on my scale weighs in at 66, while the Token weighs in at 64. And even though they're very close, it's impressive that they're able to maintain the same weight despite the larger design. Now once we put some miles on the bike with the oversized pulley, we found that the shifting and noise was very similar or better than stock. There were no derailleur adjustments needed to get the shifting down. It was just as good as before once we swapped it in. Now unfortunately we didn't notice any major performance improvements and even Token is pretty good about this. The, you do save some watts, but unless you're a professional athlete where every second matters, most road cyclists won't notice it. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Token oversized pulley. What we like about it is that it's well priced. Unlike a lot of oversized pulleys on the market that cost nearly 50% of your bike price, this is really cheap at only $150. It's also one of the few options available for Shimano 105. Uh, the majority of the options on the market are just for the jockey uh, wheels instead of the whole pulley assembly. It also installs in less than five minutes, so you can definitely do this at home. As long as you're able to take off your chain and reinstall it, that's about the hardest part of it. Some of the cons is the fact there's minimal performance gains. Don't expect to be the next Lan Lance Armstrong when you install this on your bike. Uh, you're only really gonna notice the gains on really long rides or if you're a competitive cyclist and need every second. It's also only available in black, unlike the other models of the Shurikan, which are gold. This is only available in black, so you can't really mix and match. It also, despite being well-priced, it costs more than the stock 105 derailleur replacement. Taking everything into account would give the oversized pulley an 8.6 out of 10. Even though the performance gains aren't that large, it's a very well-designed oversized pulley that shifts well and is easy to clean and also gives your bike a lot of flair. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.